it's okay. Frail, fragile, frightened. The signs of malnutrition are as evident as the scars of neglect. A virtual skeleton in patchy fur. And remarkably, this is a dog already on the mend. He was in an appalling state. He could hardly walk. Uh, he was shaking, very nervous of people, didn't want to drink, didn't really want to eat, very scared, timid. And his body functions have started to work normally, which is a great improvement because nothing was working on Monday. Take your time. Since arriving at his new home, Blue, as his carers have called him, has been under intensive care, now eating between six and eight times a day. He was found on waste ground in Kirkcaldy. Authorities think his owners threw him over a fence and left him to die. Now, Blue is starting to recover. But among greyhounds, he's one of the lucky ones. Three years ago, BBC Scotland's front line exposed a number of inscrutable greyhound dealers, breeders and owners for whom these dogs are more livestock than pets. Campaigners say since then the problem's gotten worse. I think greyhounds are looked upon as livestock, not pets. People don't view them as pets. And at the end of the day, if they're not making money, they're not wanted and they're just disposed of. Until we do something about the overbreeding, then it's, it's just not going to go away. The government is currently consulting on measures to improve the welfare of racing greyhounds and to introduce tighter regulation. That process ends later this month. Many greyhound lovers are hoping for substantial change.